I grew up hearing mm. stories from my parents' generation about the Vietnam War. Um, oh. And there's no one my parents' age who didn't know somebody who died in the Vietnam War. I had relatives. I remember I went to the Vietnam Memorial uh, when I was a, a school student to look and see the name of my cousin who, who died in Vietnam. And that, you know, the impact on the United States was pretty massive. Oh, obviously, it was far, far, far more massive uh, for the people of Vietnam. Can you talk about how the Vietnam War has affected the country right up until today? Uh, what the experience was over there uh, as compared to the way we remember it over here. Um, can mm -hmm. you talk about that to some degree? Yeah, it's the war with America is like the memory that nobody can uh, forget. Nobody can ignore. The affection of that was so much is so, so much. So like my grandpa, father, the father of my father uh, died in the war in 1968 in uh, in the uh, Tet Offensive, if you know about that. So, yeah, it affects a lot about my family. And as you know, um, I don't know, it, uh, like in the north of Vietnam, from the six, 1961 in the north of Vietnam, USA started bombers. And that was the year that my mom was born too. So it was really like strong memories to her. She remember that like when she, since she was a kid, when she um, worked in the field, the rice field, she had to always pay attention to all kinds of noise. This is like a bombing noise or alarm noise. So, so she can run away as fast as possible. And then the whole village, my whole village, she, she said that like, Around my, our village is like several like holes made by bombs. And right after a bomb was like dropped out there and explode, a team of soldiers will like and uh, vi and villagers will go there and immediately like dig the bomb up, bring them away, and then fill it up and then fix the rice field again. It's really really bad. So and and at the same time since 1961, like at, at the same time. Um, they use like toxic as an orange. You know about it, right? So, like for anyone who don't who, who don't know about this, uh, who doesn't know about this, uh, uh, USA used 80 million liters of toxic in the south of Vietnam to the purpose is to kill um, our forest and our crops. So, like to to starve us to death and to, to like and then like. Uh, our soldiers cannot hide in the forest anymore because they would they rather destroy the whole forest to stop the Viet, Viet Minh from Viet, Viet Cong from hiding. And then in those 80 million liters of toxic, they can like 61% of them is Asian orange. And, and Asian orange can like that amount of Asian orange contain like 366 kilogram of diocin. Diocin is until now still the most poisonous substance that humans have ever known of. And it affect like even now the first generation of our soldiers, they still like they were still born with the um, the, the the like disability and mental illness because of that Asian orange. Like it those millions of people for four generations always been our heavy burden for Vietnam to deal with. And then a few years ago in 2000, I don't remember exactly, 16 or 17 or something like that, we sued America in international court. We got, we call, we collected all the evidence and sued America because like we sued that like they know, they knew what was it and they knew the consequence of that toxic, but they still did it. They still like made tons of millions of dollars because they they spread that into Vietnam, and we we won. Yes, of course we would have we had enough evidence, but and then like actually it, it, here's the thing, we didn't really ask for compensation for money. We don't we didn't need America to pay any like compensation for us. We just want the world to know about what they did to us. They knew. They knew how toxic it was and they still did it. And then, yeah, of course, that America didn't give a fuck about it. And then the Western media barely covered that information. But it was it. And so here, here's the thing. <laughs> in the south of Vietnam, that time, you can, uh, you can imagine like this. In the south of Vietnam, that time, they were sprayed toxic. In the north of Vietnam, they bombed us to the Stone Age. And then 
everything was destroyed, such as my uh, my hometown. My hometown is like a neck of Vietnam. And like this side is the ocean and this side is Laos. Up here is north side, down here is south. So like my, and, and there was a, there, there's a big river like cut through my neck like this. And then there was only one bridge that connected. And that bridge was the most, the, the heaviest bombed place in Vietnam. Because that was the only one way to connect the north and the south. Or else they have to go to sea or Laos, right? That they didn't want it. Uh, we didn't want it. So we had to go through this part for, through one bridge. And then, yeah, that's why, like, my hometown was the most bombed place in the most bombed nation. And everything was destroyed. And, yeah, we had to rebuild the whole cities in the next 40 years. It was horrible.